Hello everyone. So in my effort to play every Resident Evil game in the wrong order, apparently, we are now doing we're gonna be doing Resident Evil 7 and 8. Uh so I'm with Resident Evil 7, and I will be covering at least two of the DLC for this game, specifically uh Not a Hero and End of Zoe, as those are story content. Uh story content. The other one, Ethan Must Die, is a roguelike. Actually kind of fun, I did enjoy it. Um I think if there's anything else I need to say on that. I mean, honestly, it, that's really all that's happening. It's just my quest to play these games in the wrong order. Uh, Only updates. Well, I guess this is going to matter a little bit more to the Twitch side. Because by the time this comes out on YouTube, this will have happened. Uh, One thing is we're going to have custom emotes on the channel soon. I'm getting them made. They're getting done soon. And once they're done, I will upload them. And we will have fun. Um... But yeah, so we're going to be covering this, starting a new game. <laughs> no, no, I I'll go normal. I haven't played this in forever. I just wanted to send a quick hello, and I love you. Oh, good news. I'm going to be coming home soon. Yay! Oh, I cannot wait to be done with this baby. Job. And come So, uh, I guess the only thing to, to acknowledge is there is a, a prologue demo. Its events are canon, I just am not covering hey, it. it's, uh, it's Ethan. Oh, hey. You alright? You just disappeared the other night. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead, she's alive. She, she's back. They found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I, I don't know how. But she's back. She's back somehow. And maybe it's a prank. But she wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. Dude, it's been three years. I know, I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. So may I introduce our new protagonist, Ethan Winters. Ethan was... I... I'd like to say the first new protagonist we've had since uh, Resident Evil 6. After Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil kind of went under a little underground for a little bit. Like, they didn't really make anything new for a while. This is the place. This was Resident Evil's big return. And uh, they came back in a lot of different ways. First off, first person instead of traditional third person. We have our standard inventory system. The only thing we've got right now is an email for, is a the email from Mia, which is just location, Baker Farm, and to come and get her. In terms of the first person uh, Resident Evil as opposed to the traditional third person we've had up till, you know what? It, it works. It works. It doesn't overstay its welcome as a system. It, they've they used it for two games, and they've since gone back to the third person. Hmm. This is the Xbox One build, so it's not going to be the prettiest the game could look, but it's what I have, and I'm I'm not buying the game again for a stream. 
There's only a couple games I'll do that for. Don't get me wrong. I did love this game, though. Well, I didn't love it. Except her gift. Okay, is it chocolate? What is her gift? But, uh, um... Love is a strong word. I found this to be a good, solid return for Resident Evil. It was a different mechanic. We have different... The There is one thing I kind of wish they did a little bit better, but we'll talk about that later. Sup? But I'll be honest, the opening segment here gives me a lot of uh, Outlast vibes. Ugh. What the fuck? Driver's license from Texas, and it is, it appears to be Mia's driver's license. It's covered in some strange black substance. And it looks like someone was trying to hide, hide it. So if I remember correctly, this house here was the location for the demo of this game, which was actually a prologue. Uh, you have no way of opening this. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Fuck. They, I do think the first person is used to great effect in terms of like just selling how disgusting some of this shit is okay we need a key or a lock pick for that so let's look around for now okay Oh. Good thing I didn't eat. Over 20 missing in two years. Like, the things I will give Resident Evil 7 above all, it's sound design and it's use of the close in, of the zoom in for the first person camera. They are all used to great effect. Bunch of strange pictures. We're missing a fuse. Oh, come on, I wanted to play the piano. Looks like the owners. I have streamed uh, bits of Resident Evil 7 before, but never the full game.
So I won't be covering all of these, but I'll cover, I think, this first one. There are tapes you're going to find throughout the game. You can use them for certain puzzles. For example, this is an example. The Derelict House, June 1st. Actually, I believe this is the demo. I forgot that they added, that it's added to the, well, it's in the main game as like this. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. This new guy? I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. Well, fuck off. I'm gonna fuck with your resolu- I'm gonna look away just to fuck with you. Then we shoot the intro. Just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shit. Happy? Ecstatic. I remember when this trailer... Well, when this first dropped, a lot of people thought that it was going to... Resi, uh, Resident Evil 7 was going to be like... Oh, it's going to be more mystical and ghosts and shit. It's like Resident Evil's always been rooted in science. After you. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know. Can sub, Pete. Not anchored. What's that? Nothing. It's like Resident Evil has been Andre. pretty. Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. How long do you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh. Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. It's not hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! I knew I shouldn't have worn my good shoes. Oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? 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 Where'd he go? Clancy, you see where Andre went? No, I was with you, man. Where is he? Unfucking believable. This is the last time I worked with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go. But a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy, you stick with me. Off. Weren't you just saying you weren't feeling me? What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? Andre? This is where we are right now. Fuse is still missing. That's some noises. What the hell? You got fucking kidding me. All right, new deal. Find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. I say you don't actually have to do these. I'm just doing. 
I'm just doing the first one because it really does add to the game. Because uh, there's a couple mini games and other stuff evolving Andre here. And his magic head for a camera. What do you see? What is it? Uh, hey man. Jesus. Yeah, that's the way you're... That, that uh, video is a hint that... Yeah, you can just go there. You can also, like I said, 90% of the uh, VHS tapes are not necessary. All they do is show you alternate solutions to certain puzzles. Well, not even all solutions. They give you an idea of where certain items are. For example, that one showed us where the lever was. You can just do it by observing the environment. Oh, looks like they took the body. Oh, great. This water looks nice and clean. No way we're going to get, like, not get a disease from this water. <laughs> Just air pockets. Yeah. N nothing too out of the ordinary. And there's Andre. I'm gonna be honest, I kind of forget where all the jump scares are in this game. Ben dead, Harold turned, Arthur turned, Tamara turned, Craig dead, Layla dead, Sean dead, William dead, Travis turned, Peter dead, Andre dead, Clancy L. Mia blank, Heidi turned, Clyde dead, Lindsay turned, Stephen turned, Nathaniel dead, Edward dead, Nadini dead, or Nadine dead, Alex dead, Tom dead, Reed turned, Susan turned, Joseph turned, I mean, Joseph dead, David dead. So, okay, take a quick second here, talk about uh, some gameplay mechanics, our inventory. So we have a block system more reminiscent of what we had back in Resident Evil 5, but even then still slightly different. So we've got, uh, as you can currently see, we have nine inventory slots. Most items only take up one, but the bowl cutters as a large item take up two. Other examples of large items we will find later in the game, shotguns. Let's get her out of here. Mia, oh, thank God I found you. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Are you alright? You shouldn't be here. Well, I'm here. What do you mean? You contacted me. No. No, I wouldn't. Did I? You okay? Did anyone see you? Did he see you? Who? Who else is here? What the hell's going on? Daddy's coming. We what? need to go. Who? Daddy? We need to go now! Ah. Uh... What the fuck are you into? Where are you taking me? Someplace safe. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? 
Baby, you've been gone three years. Three years? Has it really been three years? Ah. Uh... this way you yeah think what the fuck did you drag me into Mia we have to talk that message you sent me not me that wasn't me but you did I didn't. Okay. It was just an email, so anyone could have sent it. I'm telling you everything that I know. We have to go this way. Leah, are you sure you know where you're going? Family used to bring me food through here. I remember. I will say, I can kind of respect that Resident Evil didn't decide to reboot itself or anything afterwards. That they just, they course corrected and then they just kept going. What is? We're gonna be a family now that you're here. Hold on a second. It might affect the tracking, but uh, just just for some idea, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn off the lights. You okay? Mia. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, I think we do. I think you're a little crazy. Oh, there's this door. E001. And some old woman. Okay. Sorry about that. Little couple pauses, just stuff going on in the house, that's all. Why does this doll look familiar? Oh, there was another door. Fuck. Okay, the guest house map. So now we have a full map of the area. Now it's raining. Oh, yes. Yes, we will talk about this. May I present quite possibly one of the more memorable things for this game. Oh, fuck. I forgot how good this opening segment is. Oh, I 
I forgot how much of a nope this is. Sup, Mia? You okay? Oh, fuck. At least I got some time before she gets up to the... Oh, shit. Hey, that's a knife. All unavoidable damage. So much fun. Oh. Ah, fuck. I can hear her. Hear who? Feel her clawing her way back inside of me. Get out. I deserve this. The fuck? What the fuck are you, Mia? I think she's insane. Also, may I introduce to quote another very famous YouTuber who is who you all know way more than me. Goop juice! It's the weirdest one of the weirder animations in this game. Still no way out through there. Me. Oh shit! Fuck. And we've killed Mia. Like, like can we have an explanation? There should be a way out through the attic. Attic. Okay, uh. Now. Look, look, I, I just I just killed Mia. Like I, I could use some context. Like I could use some context as to what the fuck is going on. We need to find a fuse. And now we've got Mia somewhere loose here. <gasps> Mia? The longer I can avoid dealing with her, the better. Okay, there we go. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. You, uh, what's behind your back? Is that a screwdriver?
Oh. Oh. I don't think I'm getting that out. Uh, is that a chainsaw? Why is it always a chainsaw? Oh. <laughs> oh, there goes my hand. Wait, wait, did you say outbreak? But also, fuck. Yeah, no, uh, RE7 does not fuck around. <laughs> There's our severed fucking hand. Oh, dog, please, no crying. Wait, wait. Red box? Okay. Okay. Fine. Where the fuck is... I hear a chainsaw. Okay, how the fuck did you get up there? Who the fuck? Also, yes, um, it's kind of hard to reload a gun with a stump for a hand. Oh, I'm dead. Shit, does this game do checkpoints? Fuck. I forget this game does auto save. Shit. Okay, good. Yeah, you gotta make every shot count here because. Okay. You do not want to melee fight Mia. I mean, it makes sense. She's got a fucking chainsaw, but uh, I should have looked around the room before climbing up the ladder. Oh, shit. I never realized there was a box of 30 there. Down the ladder and then immediately run and start taking aim. You don't understand. You don't want to explain shit. Goop, goop, goop. Everyone is Everyone. 
Okay, I'll buy me some time. Reload. Okay, how do I get out now? What? <laughs> oh god, I fucking love that. I love just that... I love everything about that scene right there. Just the welcome to the family, son, and then just knocks you the fuck out. <sighs> Sir, I am still missing an arm. As we're going, if I remember correctly, this is the first game built in the RE engine. Which would be the engine used in Resident Evil 4 Remake, Resident Evil 3 Remake, Resident Evil 2 Remake, and Resident Evil 8 slash Village. Where? Where am I? Where the fuck? What the hell? Okay, uh... Who, who are all you people? Where's Mia? Edith, it's good. Dumb some bitch was no good if it hit him. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Hit boy's got to eat. He got to have his supper. The fuck is this? Uh, no, nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. What a functional family. What the fuck is it? Oh shit. Oh fuck. What a great family. Okay, okay, we're loose. So if we take a look, um, yeah, we have a new hand and a snazzy new watch. Sup? Okay, hold on, dog's crying. I'm gonna see if he needs to go out. Okay, uh, sorry about that. Let us continue on. But yeah, uh, that star does not fuck around. And if you check our inventory, it's all gone. Don't have a key. Herb! I should need to explain how herbs work for Resident Evil. We've dealt with them more than enough at this point.
have no way to fight back for now, so for now, I'll just hide. He knows I'm gone. What's up, bro? Oh, fuck. We have no weapons. Oh, I forgot he does that. Of course it is. Okay, okay, thank you for reminding me how to do that. I completely forgot how to do that. Okay, okay, okay. Ugh, fuck, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Trying to avoid like oh god. Is that a lawnmower? Uh that is the first of many antique coins. We will talk about those later. Collect as many as you can though. Uh, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we will save that for now because we can make we can use that later. I could use the herb now and heal a little bit, but I'm better off saving it for now. Uh, let's see. Oh! Okay, so because I beat the game, I do have access to the Albert 01 replica, but we will not be using that. Uh, it's a good thing to acknowledge. Okay, there we go. So, yes, uh, com combining items back. We're... We've gotten very used to that after um, Resident Evil 4 Remake. Okay, I'll have this set as save one. For right now, I am going to store the antique coins. We don't really have a use for them.
I will not be using the Alberto one, or I don't have plans to. Where is that phone? Ooh, medicine. Oh no, I, I think the phone's in here, right? Yeah, there it is. So now, welcome to the main portion of the game. Uh, as we are going to be running around loose here, to let's talk about briefly what the fuck we'll be dealing with. Uh, as of right now, we don't really have anything too crazy that we can do. Or something, but where do I get? I know it is at one of these. I'm thinking later, maybe. Okay, I need something to cut through that right now, which we do not have access to. We have bullets, but no gun we can use. Is it over here? I hear the knocking. windows but which one Open up. oh there we go oh there you are finally hey you gotta help me hold on back up now sir do you live here i mean is this your property what, what? me no. no no all right now we got several calls about some missing persons like you don't understand i gotta get out of here now, calm down you're, you're not, not listening, listening to me, me. There are, there are crazy, crazy people in this house, house trying, trying to, to fucking, fucking kill me. me. <laughs> well, all right. Let me tell you this. You don't exactly seem like you're playing with a full deck yourself, all right? Are you kidding me? Look, like I said, we've had several missing persons calls. And I can't rule out that an outsider like yourself may not be involved. Oh, fuck. I'll tell, I'll you, tell whatever you whatever you want. want. All right. Now, that's no lie. Now, meet me in the garage. We'll talk later. Hey, hey wait. wait. You, you gotta, gotta give me your gun. gun. Fuck no. <laughs> I don't blame him, actually. Officer. Deputy. Right. Deputy. Deputy. Now, do you, you want, want to see my, my name in the obituaries? But you, you want, want to be a hero and save my life. life. He's thinking it over. A fucking, a fucking pocket, pocket knife? knife? Here. Take it. That's all he's going to get. Oh. Okay, the, the pocket knife's at least a decent middle ground. What am I gonna do with a knife? With the pocket knife, we can now break boxes. Very important, actually. And we can also cut this tape. Yeah, surprisingly though, man, even in durable. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Now first you need to tell me what you're doing out of here alone in the middle of the night. Me? What about you? It's my job. Why don't you do your job and tell me. Answer my question. You're not gonna believe me if I told you. Hey! Wait! Don't! Uh, 
clean cut, man. And Glock. Much easier to load a gun now that we have two hands. Ah, fuck. Oh, that is not something I want to use. What's up, bro? Come on, come on, I need bullets, I need bullets! I think I picked up some chem fluid. That was weird. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, I'm dead. You are nothing. Just a man. Oh, again, this game does not fuck around. I'm kinda happy that Capcom has like really just started. Allowing like hey, get the fuck some of these more brutal deaths. Me? What about you? Oh come on, game. God, how durable he is. I didn't even, yeah, I didn't even turn on the car, man. And there we go again. I legit forget how to do this. I have not played Resident Evil 7 since its release. Not even since its release. I'd say... It's been at least... Two or three... I think two years since I played it? Hey, we gotta get the fuck out of here. First, you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the night. Me? 
What about you? I'm here watching you die again. Oh no, I need chem fluid. Okay, got some extra... There we go. Yeah, you both can use the car. Oh, shit. Uh... Hey, man. Oh, I've never seen this before, huh? Oh, fuck. I've never seen this finish before. I always just shot him. Holy fuck. Because whenever I got in the car, it's like, he always just rips me out of it. But fuck. You are on fire. Holy shit! I might have just wasted those bullets. Yeah, our handgun here is the G-17. Fuck! I forgot about this. I mean, at least he didn't take a bullet from my inventory. Whenever you can, Convert your, um... Fucking hell. Yeah, whenever you get the chance, make sure you convert your herbs into goop juice. Ugh. Holy shit, I forgot how crazy the beginning of this is. Make sure you get everything you want out of your though shotgun, because I don't believe you could go back in here. For now we'll just leave it closed. Might as well keep them trapped. Yeah, we are now armed.
Welcome to the main hall and ooh, shiny. We'll come back for you. Okay, we need something for that. Locked. Did my daddy give you a hard time? That's, That's your, your father? father? He used to be. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, but he, he he's, he's a, a he's dead, dead now. now. You just might be able to pull this off. What? Pull, pull what off? There's something I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. You may need some sort of keys to do it, but find a way out of the house. Okay. I'll be in touch. See, don't have a key for that. Might as well start running around seeing what we can and can't do. Some chem fluid. You can just use herbs to heal, but honestly, you're better off just making chem fluid. I mean, making um goop juice. Evelyn, May 24th, 2014. The reason why you're better off just using the um, medical fluid to heal is because it's it's so I can't aim a gun at you. I heard something. I do hear. Guessing mass of God knows what. Uh, sup, man? Uh, you got something on your face, man. Also, is that a hammer? So yeah, um, may I introduce our pursuer? So yeah, uh... <laughs> He's gonna be pursuing us for this remainder of this chapter. Main issue is we don't have a big area to move around right now, so. And I don't believe any area we have access to right now is safe from him. Ah. I'm trying to remember if he could come in here or not.
Okay. I think the only rooms that we're safe in are on the only rooms that we are safe in are the rooms with safe points so for now let's just hide Okay. Oh, this is just Ah, fuck. I hate fighting him right now just cuz this is honestly just a waste of ammo. Okay, he's gone now. go no idea how the fuck that works but okay who builds this shit i mean yeah no how the fuck get into the walls we'll be safe in the walls i'm definitely not doing good on ammo now though See what do I have to turn? Okay, so I have a because I believe medical chem oh medical fluid only stacks up to three. So for right okay, so there's some more chem fluid. Those are bobbleheads scattered around the map. Uh, they do not give any reward for finding them all. They are just an achievement. Uh. Okay, yeah, so Psycho Simulants just give you... So some items are really well hidden on the map. So if you ever have trouble finding something, use Psycho Stimulants. They do reveal everything. Uh, 
uh, you might not be able to get to some of the stuff because it might be in like locked drawers and stuff, but you'll know it's there. Oh, right, yeah, some of them just have maggots. The husband was a su success. Uh, vac uh, okay, vacationing husband and wife. The husband was a success. He's the 12th. Unfortunately, the wife was no good, so we'll just get rid of her. Three college girls, they're all rotten. Lucas is a damn idiot. Homeless man turned in three days. He's the 13th. And then a picture of what appears to be the old woman again. Picture from a kid. Another antique coin. Fuck. Oh, right, you. May I introduce our B.O.W. for the game? The Molded. The molded, I forgot how fucking, like, how much of a bullet sponge these fuckers are. I didn't miss some stuff in the other room, okay. You hear shotgun shells that I can't, oh wait, yeah, that's a thing I could do. That's all in that room I can't reach yet. What was that? Uh, gunpowder I could use to make bullets, but I need chem fluid. I'm not at 100% health, but I'm not at a point yet where I feel justified using chem fluid. Oh, thank you, game. You're merciful. You lock pick. Okay. You know what? I'm going to put this with the other one, and I'm going to grab the secrets of defense. Just because I forgot how hard things hit in this game. Also, I hope you like the appearance of a Glock. Because uh, we're going to be using it for a while. Ah! <sighs> 
I only got five bullets left. And nine mil is not exactly the most... Fuck! heads three A's and a handprint okay gunpowder which I need but I need ammo more How am I looking? Oh, great. Okay, no, you're not an A. You're not an A. I need you, but William. Go on. Just in case. Uh, okay, three A's and a handprint. Travis, Laura, William, Tamara, and the handprint. Just these two. with your arm. Yep, nope, I'm dead. Yet the opening segments of this game are is honestly the hardest. Right, right, just don't even bother with body shots. You win either head or arm shots. Right, right, that's how it works with the molded. I forgot you don't fight molded like other BOWs. Okay, there we go. Now I remember how to deal with these things. It's, you don't fight them like zombies, you fight them like they're necromorphs. Gets me the room for the keep of the dissection room. And eats up all my bullets again. Workshop, which is... I can't open from this side. 
Fuck that. Boxes, boxes. Could mean. There we go. A lot more just opened up to us now that we have that key. Okay. Uh, that is snake. Okay, let's see. We gotta go through the boiler room. Can't do In hell. Fuck! I'm going to quickly run back and do some inventory management. Oh my god, I forgot how good the sound design for this game is. Okay, I can't use any of that yet, so I'm going to leave the shotgun ammo behind. Going to use that to at least get me out of yellow. dog trying to be led in my room be right back there's one thing i will say i think seven's opening segment here in the house is probably its strongest point like there's always there's one segment of most resident evil games that i remember There you are. Oh, fuck, there's two. For seven, though, the area I remember is this opening segment. I might grab the Albert just so I have extra handgun ammo at this point. Like, I won't reload the damn thing, but, like, yeah, I would like to. Give me some fucking ammo. Okay, this time I'm going to handle things a little differently. I'm going to... Okay, you know, uh, I'm not going to use the Albert Long. Because I believe it does come with handgun ammo already. Yeah, it comes with three shots. Once those three shots are out, I'm going to toss it. 
Most because I'm getting like crap rolls for ammo this go. I don't think this thing's like super powerful. I forget if it's the. Is there any way to view? There's not ways to view stats. I don't think it's like a super powerful god gun. Let's get the last shot out. And I wasted it. But I will say, I do love the impact sound of the Alberto one. It. Mm. Fuck! There's two again. Oh, there's more than two. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna accept death. Cause yeah, no, I, you know what? No, no. Actually, I have the, you know what? If I remember correctly, do I just need a scrimmy key for that? If so, that will make this a whole lot easier. You. And leave you. Because if I just need the... I forget what key I need for this. Well, with Scorpion, we can go back there. What key do I need for you? Need Crow. Sucks, too, because that's a good supply room right there. I don't think we get the crow key for a while. That's the snake lock shit. You're part of the family now. Fuck off. Oh. Yeah, eat up the rest of my ammo, you fucking asshole. Okay, uh... Let's see, Snake. Got a little bit before he gets back up. There you go, Scorpion. Another anti 
coin. Let's hide them like this. I'm tired of chasing all these shitheads around the yard. Next time, hide the dog head relief so they can't get out of the house. One's in the living room, grandfather clock, book in the recreation room, and the dissection room in the basement. So we've already got through. Okay, neat. We've already got most of it for one. Let me see what we. Okay, never mind. We got some handgun ammo. More shells. Yep. So yeah. This, so for, to explain what we're dealing with though in terms of infection, as it mentioned and I mentioned earlier, we are dealing with mold this go around as opposed to the tradition, as opposed to parasites. And, fuck! Now buy me some time. I that's there we go. This is what I needed. Broke a shotgun. Hide out. Fuck! How the fuck? up inventory there we go and the door locks if you don't have a shotgun to weigh this down Which we can fix with the broken shotgun. Okay, okay.
So the shotgun's going to be helpful for areas where there's multiple enemies. Just because if we can nail a headshot with this thing, it's pretty much a one-shot kill. If I remember correctly at this point in the game. Or it's at the very least really damn close. There we go. Make some strong bullets. Those will come in handy later. I try to s stock as many of those as I can and save them for, of course, boss fights. Okay, an antique coin. Herb. Psycho stim just wore off. What's up, bitch? This is my boomstick. Fucking hell. Oh god. I thought I I thought I nailed that one in the head. But yeah, if you can nail a headshot with the shotgun, it is going to instant kill. It is highly recommended to have this before coming in here because there's three of them and you gotta deal with them fast. Switch over to ha power ammo. Okay, that's just ragdolling. Some more strong chem fluid. I might save that for now. How do you get down here so fast? This, where that, uh, where this one is. Okay, it won't be for a while. I'm gonna make strong chem fluid. I am going to need it.
That has a weird blood effect. I thought he was infected with something my first time playing this. A, a lot of people did, apparently. Just because it's such a weird blood effect. That's supposed to clue you in on something for an upcoming event. See, I got normal med- well, chem flu- oh, I got normal medicine and I've got the advanced shit, so... I do need to empty it up. And I have no way to open a shortcut back right now, so... Here we go. What's up? Ready for round two? Oh, right, yeah, this, yeah. Yeah, this is some, like, MG shit. Yeah, he can just insta-kill us now. I forgot about that. Ah, oh, he, you can, he can now just instant-kill. Okay, so what we're gonna do this time instead... I'm gonna hold off on making the... Strong Chem Fluid like I did last time. Oh, okay, no, I got- I found more Chem Fluid, okay. That- that is perfect. Um... Okay, so this time I'm just gonna make an extra of the basic chem. Gonna grab the gunpowder and we're gonna make the strong shit. My goal today is to just get out of the house, and then we will... We'll call it. He received. Fucking hell.
have one bullet left in my name. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, no, the, the... This is probably where most of my deaths are. Like, every time I play this game, this is probably where I die the most. Just because I don't really have an arsenal yet. Like, once I... Because here's the thing. Uh, RE7 does not have a wide variety of weapons like we were doing with RE6 and 5. Or even Resident Evil 4. Um, we have a lot of basic weapons. It's gonna be shotgun. Pretty much the only weapons, if I remember correctly, in this game are shotguns, handguns, and magnums. And if you play your cards right, one assault rifle. Now you can, as we have saw during the fight, there is a chainsaw we can grab to fight Jack with here. But, uh, I'm kind of shit with the chainsaw. But you know what, this guy might just pick it up. Let him get his weird weapon. Oh god. Okay, I can block it. Finally! Fuck! Yeah, and you just blew up. Oh, 
fucking hell. And there goes our chainsaw. Do me a favor and stay dead. Please. I just do not have the ammo to go through that shit again. That's a snake door. Fuck. Do I need to go back through? <sighs> Fuck. I need to go back to the recreation room anyway for the books or the other dog head. Hold on, I need to go back to the recreation room for the dog head book. I mean, for the book with the dog heads. And then I need the one in the living room, which I still don't have any hints or anything on how to get that. Anything that appears or tries to kill me, uh, it's gonna be spared this go, cause... I can't... fucking fight. I only have a knife. Uh... Sup? You're getting around quite easily for being by yourself. Also, there's a song. That song she was we just heard is the was the uh I wouldn't say tagline, but it was like the song that was used for all the marketing for this game. for supplies. We need to find shit. I don't think we need to worry about Jack anymore. I don't think he's gonna come back. I, for, I honestly forget if he comes back or not. Uh, like, while we're still in this, before we get out. Search the books in here. There's a bobblehead. I hear that shit. There we go. There's the blue one. Okay, Gunpowder. More lore, but... Another tape. It's a kid's room, which I can't access yet. Because, yeah, the kid's room requires the snake key, and we haven't found that one yet.
past my foot. I got so scared there. Okay, okay, Uh, haven't been back here in a while. Has a Where the fuck is this pendulum? Uh, hold on a second. Okay, okay. I had to double check this one because I, I completely forgot how this one worked. I've been mixing it up. I thought I needed a pendulum for the, um... The way I thought it worked is that I needed a pendulum for the one here. It's the opposite, so... There we go, I take this one. Oh, I never opened this drawer. Ooh, fancy coin. Nice. I'm gonna need those in a bit. Gunpowder, herb, and statue. Whenever I see that coat rack, my heart stops for a second because I think it's fucking Jack coming to kill me again. I don't think he's getting up again for the rest of the time in here, but I want to get out of here as soon as possible. There we go. That's all that. Let's get out of here now. I hate being armed only with the knife.
And let's shut that out. Okay. Freedom at long last. Also, first things first, if I remember correctly, I always remember to grab this. Well, there's the anti coin, but if I remember correctly, somewhere around here. Where? Yeah, pull this out. Like, I would recommend doing this before you go any further. Because if you remember correctly in this box, yes, a repair kit. Might not seem useful right now. There's only two repair kits in the whole game. Only one is accessible to us as of right now. Okay, that's a thing. The second one we will be getting we won't be getting much later, but Yeah, so Oh sorry stretching a little bit. It is almost midnight for me, so I am gonna be calling it soon, but yeah. You can use the repair kits on broken weapons. One of which we've already seen, which is the broken Um why am I drawing a blank here? Oh, yeah. The broken shotgun in the house. You can use the broken shotgun to... You can repair the broken shotgun and then proceed to use it. I instead am going to use it on the broken handgun. Which means I'm then going to leave the old G17. And switch to a cult. Now, because Resident Evil treats all handgun ammo as handgun ammo, I'm going to get on my soapbox real quick and talk about the 45 ACP. Okay, let's see here. I've got seven coins. Let's see. Stabilizer, which is increases reload speed, which is very nice. Steroids increases max health. The 44 Magnum, which is a, which I believe is the only Magnum in the game. Zoe's bra. I have seven coins. So you know what? I'm gonna say I'm gonna hold off on the Magnum, but I am going to get this. There we go. So now we've got the speed up for reloading. Gonna store my coins again. With the supplements, I can make neuro rounds or with uh, strong chem fluid or with chem fluid uh, uh, supple. I mean, uh, psycho stimulants. Neuro rounds, as, as you can tell, are for a grenade launcher. So yes, there is... I forgot that there is a grenade launcher in this game. Ugh. Busy. Oh, fucking every time. You made it. You're the first I've ever seen you make it this far. So, what is it you need me to do? Is it going to help me get out of here? Yes. Now, listen carefully, Ethan. My family and I, our bodies are contaminated. 
I can't leave the property unless I get it out. And the same goes for Mia. Is there a way to get it out? We need the serum. It should clear whatever this stuff is out of the body. As long as you're not too far gone. <sighs> Alright. So where is it? If I knew where one was, I'd already be long gone. But I have a feeling my mother has hidden some inside the old house somewhere. So if we get this thing, I can help me and we can get out of here? Right. And so can I. The old house is near the water. You can't miss it. Alright. I just hope you can handle my mother. Your mother? Be careful. They'll be looking for you. Okay. Well, with that, we're gonna call it for the first bit of Resident Evil 7. God, I forgot how this game plays. It's been so long. Ah. <sighs> Hopefully, now that we got um the upgraded handgun. Maybe I'll also get luckier and please game give me some more handgun rounds like Seriously, I don't think I've ever had a run give me this few handgun rounds And then Eventually, I'll, I don't know if I get the steroids or I'll save up for the magnum I'll decide later but with that, though, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your ni night. And for those of you watching on YouTube, always a reminder, we do stream over on Twitch. Uh, stream's a schedule's been a little inconsistent recently just because of new job. But uh, I've been settling back on Monday nights for Resident Evil. Wednesday nights have been Mega Man Battle Network. And Fridays, when I can, have or will be Super Robot Wars. Though um, I am thinking about doing something else for a little bit. That decision will be made Friday. But for that, though, we'll talk later. And with that, though, I will see you all later. Everyone, enjoy the rest of your night.